This is so delicious. Wow, this gravy is so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto collie mash and gravy. So during Thanksgiving, like one of the things that is usually always on the table is some mashed potatoes and gravy. So I figured that I would make a keto version, low carb version for you guys. So these are absolutely delicious. Um, to be honest with you, even my family that is not low carb or of course not keto, um, they absolutely love this dish. So get ready to be in love. It's gonna be creamy and cheesy and delicious. And of course, we're gonna have a delicious gravy on the side. So we're gonna get started. There are a few um, little steps to this, but it's so worth it and um, it's so easy. So I've already started just to save some time here. Um, I had a whole cauliflower, so the whole head of cauliflower here. And I obviously just broke it up into pieces and I boiled this until it basically started falling apart. Like you can see, it is very, very, very tender. Whoopsie. It's very tender. And if you don't want to use a whole cauliflower, you can use rice cauliflower. I usually use that, but I was out. And so we grabbed this at the grocery store and it's going to come out just as delicious. So either or will work. Whatever you have on hand is, um, is what you should use. So after, um, you boil this, say 15 minutes or so, um, you want to drain the water, of course. And, um, so now we have it here set on the side. And what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare our butter, okay? So I'm gonna pour this into our bowl. This is where we're gonna be mixing everything into. And I'm going to put our butter and our garlic right into this little pan. I just don't wanna use any additional pans because your girl washes everything by hand. Um, I'm just not a like dishwasher type of person. Okay, so we have our butter here. We have, this is our butter. We have four tablespoons of butter and we are going to add our garlic. So I'm just using some minced garlic, just like that. And we are going to do two teaspoons of minced garlic. If you want to use uh, fresh garlic, then you would use about, you would use about two garlic cloves. Okay, so we have two right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove top, mix it together, and we're gonna make a delicious garlic butter. So let's go. Okay, so we have our heat on. Now we are going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt because we are using unsalted butter. I usually don't ever use unsalted butter, but that's what I accidentally picked up. Even though some people really do like to uh, control their, you know, the salt on their dishes, it's never a problem for me. So let's let this heat up, cook that garlic, and then we'll move on. Okay, so we have our butter. Throw that in. Here's our garlic butter. Okay. And we're gonna use this pan again, but for now, let's just put it aside and add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of heavy cream. One tablespoon of heavy cream. We're gonna do three tablespoons of three tablespoons of sour cream. And I should have had everything measured out, but you know, mom life guys, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. So I'm gonna add some pepper. This is just to taste. Whoa, it's a little much, but it's fine, I love pepper. We're gonna add a little salt, a little more salt. Here is a quarter teaspoon. Then we'll taste it after and see if it needs more. Okay, now we are going to do a quarter cup 
Let's go ahead and do some Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we have some Parmesan cheese. This is just uh, grated Parmesan cheese. So freshly grated. And this is completely optional, but I'm a fan of sharp cheddar. So we're just gonna add that in there. You can see that. Mm -mm -mm. Sharp cheddar, in my opinion, just is where it's at. But I would say it's just to taste. So this is my last little piece of sharp cheddar. So we're just gonna finish it off because it's just gonna add sharpness to your to your mash. And you can, um, if you want to, just use a quarter cup of cheese alone. You can do that. Um, I obviously added a little more. And it's gonna be just fine. You guys are gonna eat it. Just like me. Okay, so now magic. We have a food processor. <laughs> We're going to um, pour everything into our food processor. So I literally just put everything on here so that it can be easy and we can just transfer it in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try not to make a mess. Um, so there it is. We have our cauliflower, our cheese, our butter, garlic, everything in here. Yum. Okay, now we're just going to run this through the food processor. Here we go. Okay, now look at that. Beauty, beautiful. So if you want it a little chunky, you can leave it, you know, a little chunkier, but this right here is like the real deal, guys. I can't wait for you to try this. You're gonna love this recipe. So now we ran this through the food processor. We have the smoothness that we want and desire. So now let's go ahead and we are actually gonna put it back on the stovetop to make sure that that garlic and cheese and everything is cooked and um, yeah. And it is perfect. So let's grab, let's go ahead and um, put this back in here. And just make sure you grab your spatula to scrape everything off because this is like liquid gold right here, guys. Even though it's not liquid, you know what I mean. You don't want any of this going to waste at all. So we have everything back in here. Let's go to the stove and make sure that everything is good, cooked, hot, cheesy. So now this was, this is gonna turn into cheesy. Some cheesy cauliflower mash. Do you see that texture? Just wanna make sure you can see that. Mm -hmm. Gravy's next, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna make our gravy now. We are using our Kettle and Fire bone broth. I do have a discount code. For them, it is low carb love, and this is what I use when I'm breaking my fast, but of course I also use it to cook with. So this is just a classic chicken bone broth. We are doing a half cup, which is there, half cup of bone broth, one tablespoon of butter, and then we are going to use this little xanthan gum here, which we are using a quarter teaspoon, and this is going to be our thickener. So I will link everything down below. Okay, so throw quarter teaspoon of xanthan, and now we are gonna throw it on the heat. Let it bubble up, and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna pour it all into our bowl while the gravy is thickening. Okay guys, so now we turn off the heat. This is a consistency you are looking for. And now let's go ahead and take it back to the countertop, I mean to the table and we will take both our mash, our cauliflower mash and our gravy. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and do the taste test. Okay, so look at our gravy. It looks beautiful. Made with our bone broth. Nothing but collagen and deliciousness right here. This is so nutritious, guys. So you know you are eating something ridiculously healthy. And now, of course, let's go in for the taste test. Mmm. This is so delicious. Wow. So the... Mmm. This gravy is so good. Of course, the potatoes are too, but that's what I'm tasting right now. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna be so obsessed. And it's the easiest gravy to make because you don't even need the drippings from the turkey. You can legitimately make this anytime. All you need is your bone broth, a little xanthan gum, and some butter. Boom, oh, of course, your seasonings of choice. But guys, this right here is absolutely like game changer. It tastes so good. All right, guys, so I cannot wait to see your recreations. Make sure that you tag me at low carb love on Instagram so that I can share that as well. And make sure that you do turn on your post notifications so that you're reminded every time I post a video. Guys, I hope you love this recipe. It's gonna be perfect for Thanksgiving or any dinner night when you're trying to make some, when you would make uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. This is gonna be a great low carb, <laughs> this is gonna be a great low carb alternative even if you're not low carb keto. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.